I am selling my Bitcoin right now. I'm about to sell 1.2 Bitcoin. Here we go. Boom, just sold over a whole Bitcoin. Why am I selling my spot Bitcoin right now? Well, first of all, to build a little bit of context, I've been buying Bitcoin aggressively under $20,000 last year when we had the whole big FTX meltdown. In fact, right here, you can see I made a video literally in a long trade from the exact bottom. My entry price was $15,594. I had 1.3 Bitcoin on the trade. That was worth about 21,000 USDT back a year ago. Okay, now I just sold 1.2 Bitcoin for about 45-ish thousand dollars. So I've doubled my money over the course of a year. And so first of all, when we are talking about investing, when we are talking about trading, if you do not take profits, you could potentially make a whole bunch of money and then lose a whole bunch of money on the way down. And right now, when we look at the higher term time frame charts that, in my opinion, make the most logical thing for me to do right now, take some profits. That way I realize all the hard work that I did for the past year investing and analyzing the charts. So I want to be diving into the charts right now, talking about the warning signs that I see for Bitcoin. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications because we are bringing you the juiciest Bitcoin analysis videos here on YouTube talk about the warning signs that we're seeing on the chart right now as bitcoin has been grinding up in this kind of struggly looking ascending channel we are seeing for the first time in months a very bearish pattern printing on market cipher b we are seeing not only as the price is getting higher the momentum wave is getting lower but also the money flow is getting lower this is known actually as the upside down sam bagman freed bearish man boob pattern in fact if we go ahead and we just kind of superimpose sam bagman freed's upper chesticles onto market cipher b over here and we stretch those boobies out we can actually see this very bearish pattern on the chart and now medically in the new england journal of medicine this is known as a bearish divergence now when we see this on the chart historically it leads to at least a 20 percent move to the downside the last time we saw this was actually right here in august 2023 which actually led to a pretty significant drop to the downside it led to a 17% move to the downside here on the all-time index. The time before we saw that, it actually led to a, let's pull this right here, a 20% move to the downside. The time before we saw that, it also did lead to a 19% move to the downside. So historically speaking, even during this bear market rally, the upside down Sam Bankman fried bearish man booby pattern has given us about a 20% move to the upside. Now, the reason why it's become known as a Sam Bankman fried bearish man boo pattern is because the most famous time that we printed this pattern was right before FTX went down. Okay, so we saw right here as the price was getting higher right before, in fact, three days before the news came out, the FTX was insolvent. We got the momentum waves coming down. We got the money flow coming down. And that's what led to the juicy and massive 27% drop to the downside culminating in the bottom of the bear market. Now, when we go to the daily time frame, what are we seeing? We are also seeing right now a bearish divergence printing on the chart as the price is struggling to make higher highs here. We are seeing the momentum waves getting lower. Now, I want to take a look at an even higher time frame because we are coming up to a very, 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 very important area of resistance. So when we take a look at the fibs from the all time high of the bull market to the low of the bear market, you can see that we are coming up to none other than the Fibonacci 382 level. This is a very, very significant level because if we go ahead and just draw a little box here, we can see that this was our area of consolidation in January 2021, roughly our support in the summer of 2021, our support in the winter of 2022. And now we're basically coming back up to retest this level. It is a very, very important level. In addition to that, guys, when we look at what has happened here for the past few weeks, I mean, we literally had one, two, three, four blue weeks in a row, these massive candles with massive amounts of inefficiencies. It would not necessarily be a very healthy move if we keep squeezing up. Yes, it's possible. Let me say that. But it's actually more probable right now, given the bearishness of the chart, that we do see that pullback that we're looking for. Where we can actually retest now some support resistance flips. Now, when we take a look at all the volume that has traded here during the entire bull and bear market, we see some very significant things. First of all, the price of Bitcoin has now re-entered inside this fair value zone. This is very significant because this is a massive multi-year support resistance flip. However, in my opinion, a resistance is not claimed until we get a retest, right? Look at what happened at the $25,000 level, right? I've marked out right here. Let me make this a little bit wider and thicker, right? I like my trend lines the way I like my women, right? Shout out to my wife. When we broke out 
okay, of that $25,000 area, it wasn't until we got the retest that we could consider this level now holding as support. All right, so now I'd say that we have a very similar thing that needs to happen right here at around that $28,500 level. This is a key area of support. It was support in the bull market literally twice. It's been resistance now in the bear market literally twice. We're printing the signs that say typically a 20% pullback is coming. And if we measure 20%, what do you know? It literally comes right to the value area low of that range. And so I am expecting a bit of a pullback here. And here's the thing, guys. If we come down to this level, it could be a very bullish bounce now to that $55,000 zone. But when we look historically at the four-year Bitcoin cycles, typically we get a, an extreme double bottom-ish pullback before the halving comes in. Now, first of all, let me preface by saying this. I am not in any way, shape, or form a Bitcoin bear. In fact, if you follow me, if you follow my channel, you know that I am very much so bullish on Bitcoin for the macro time frame. You also know, if you've been watching my videos for the past few weeks, that I think it is possible we see a massive squeeze up to $50,000 during the rest of 2023. I'm actually currently in a juicy long trade right now on Bitcoin, and my target is a new high. Okay, so we know we're at a key resistance zone. We know that the higher term time frames are showing that a pullback is likely. And then when we go back and we look at the history of market cycles, what typically tends to happen? Well, what typically tends to happen is we top out in the bull market. We get a massive dump to the downside, the bear market, everybody's really concerned. And then all of a sudden, even more to the downside, everybody says, that's it, it's over. And then we get a bear market rally, right? Everybody gets super excited at first. They don't believe it's real. Then we break out of resistance. They still don't believe it's real. Okay, we keep on pumping up, pumping up. And then finally, people admit, okay, maybe the rally's back, right? Maybe, maybe we're back into the bull market. Why? Because the current price of Bitcoin right now is closer to the all-time high of the bull market than it was to the low of the bear market. And typically when this happens, we see Bitcoin pump and then start to range a little bit. We see altcoins go absolutely crazy. People start following into altcoins and a whole bunch of stuff. Pretty much everything we're seeing right now. And then we get a big pullback leading into the Bitcoin halving, leading into the bull market, all right? It happened in the last few cycles. We can even go back here and see that, you know, basically, the, the 2015, the big dump, we get the big move to the upside, then bam, we get that double bottom. And actually, if we go to some charts, let's see if we can go to the Bitcoin all-time index chart here and go back to 2015 to really see how that played out. Actually, uh, let's see where it's at, 2015, we actually put in a lower low here, right? We bottomed out right around here. We got a rally and then boom, we actually put in a lower low on the all-time index chart before the halving and before the real rally to the upside. And so just based on the cycles of Bitcoin and the patterns that have played out for the past three cycles, the responsible thing, in my opinion, if we've been buying on spot and holding this entire move to the upside, now up 100% on our investment, would be to take some profits off the table. Now, again, remember, we're putting ourselves in a win-win situation. Either we are going to make profit by taking profits now and leaving a portion of our spot portfolio there, or even a large portion of our spot portfolio there, or we're going to make more money if Bitcoin does pump up to higher prices during this bear market rally. But the second aspect of the strategy that I use for my long term portfolio is taking advantage of the market volatility by trading and accumulating Tether and Bitcoin, regardless of what the price is doing. So we know we can short the market, we can long the market, take advantage of the smaller term time frames. Even if Bitcoin is in a larger term downtrend, like we could say maybe it has been here for the past few days, making a high, a low, a lower high, a lower, low, a lower high, potentially even a lower low. We can short Bitcoin when we put in those lower highs. And not only that, but we can also long Bitcoin when it puts in those lower lows and take advantage and stack our crypto even through the bear market so that when all is said and done, even though we're selling our Bitcoin on spot, if we get a pullback, we're still able to accumulate more over time. Like this long trade right here, this is the setup that we gave in the Casper Crew VIP Discord yesterday. Looking for that bounce from just around 35,550. It's pretty much right where we got the bounce from yesterday. I got in at the first retest over in the Casper Crew VIP Discord. And shout out to the Casper Crew because we are absolutely crushing the charts over here, longing and shorting Bitcoin. By the way, if you want to join the Casper Crew, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com. 
click the link to join the VIP Discord right here. It's an educational group where every single day we give our setups. We do multiple live streams looking at the price action. And guys, if you want to get educated and learn how to trade regardless of what the market is doing, check out the courses that we have here. Okay, just released a scalping mini course showing you how I made over $25,000 in 30 days just scalping the lower term time frames. I also have an introduction to the crypto trading program right here. Currently a 25% discount in the pinned comment and the description. And uh, this also includes the scalping mini course. We also have White Phoenix's smart money approach to trading. These are great resources for people who are looking to stack their crypto throughout whatever happens, pullback or pump. Also guys, if you want to trade Bitcoin and altcoins, I highly recommend you check out MEXC, my go-to exchange for trading crypto because the fees are so low. You can literally scalp on the one minute time frame, marketing into trades and still be profitable because they absolutely have the best fees in the game. If you're interested, links in the pinned comment and description. Also guys, if you want to long traditional assets like the S&P 500, which I am also long on from the setup we gave in the Casper crew, check out Bing X. This is my go-to exchange for trading stocks, Forex commodities using your tether as margin. So if you're a crypto guy like me, you don't want to open up a traditional brokerage account. You can still take advantage of the volatility of these markets trading on Bing X using your tether as margin. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. Even if you are not religious, I still pray you and your family are extremely blessed in many ways. And I will see everybody in the next video. Peace.